That's a great question you asked me. Could I respond to that by asking another? What if you could learn a second language much faster and much more easily than you ever thought it possible? That's in fact a question I often ask my students. Most of them respond to this question with a hesitant yes, but I get the sense they don't quite believe it possible. Well, why is that? Well, most language learners experiences in learning a second language, whether it be at school or later on, tell them the exact opposite. Namely, that learning a language is difficult and not many succeed. That's where the problem begins. Once you get beliefs like that, it will certainly affect the results you expect and hence achieve. As Henry Ford once said, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you are right. Most people's experiences in learning a second language has such a profound effect on them that tends to stay with them for the rest of their life. One reason for that is that whenever they try again, their first experiences just get reinforced and confirmed. Does it have to be that way? No. Did you know that humans are the only species that we know of that are designed as a learning machine? We know that because we are born with only a very few instincts, sucking being one of them. Yet, we have created all the wondrous, amazing things that we see around us. With animals, it's the exact opposite. They are born with many instincts. Virtually everything we do is learned. In our busy lives, we can easily take our life and everything in it for granted. But doesn't it strike you as amazing all, the, all that humankind has created, whether it be the beautiful strains of music, the sheer wonder of space travel, the ability to talk to someone across the other side of the planet, the ability to freeze a picture of life and preserve it for as long as we want, to use a computer for 101 things, to drive. The list is endless. And all that someone created at some point in time and we learn to use or enjoy their creations. And we too can create wondrous things. And we do all the time really. Fundamentally, all of us are the same. The variations between us are small, but the small differences can result in large differences in terms of what we think and do. Have you ever considered why it is that every infant, excepting the ones that have some physical condition like deafness or a chemical imbalance like the Down syndrome, learns to speak their mother tongue to perfection? That is, at least to the level of the environment they are brought up in. So, we have all proved that we could learn the most difficult language, our first. Why do I say that our first language is the most difficult? Because it is the first, and we start with no language or ideas at all. But we learn the verbs, the tenses, the conjugations, the exceptions, the intonations, etc, etc. And that's not to mention learning the mental functioning that is created alongside the language. In doing this, we have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are amazing learners then why is it that in most countries, most students who are required to learn a second language are not successful? In Australia, the rates are pretty terrible. Learning a foreign language is compulsory in Year 7 and Year 8, but only a few percent go on to Year 12. And even less of those ever achieve fluency in it. Well, that's ex excluding the ones who actually speak the same language at home. So, and then, of the over 95% that never went to year 12, and I would hazard a guess that over 95% of them would have a very low self-image of themselves as language learners. Clearly, in countries that are bilingual like Canada, or have other countries close by with other languages like in Europe, statistics are quite different. That is explained in large part by the students' ready access to the language and the real life experiences in that language rather than to the country having substantially better language education programs. With adults, the rates are not so easily obtained, but in my experience, a very low percentage of second language learners achieve unrestricted fluency to a standard they are satisfied with. Then why is it that we started off having great learning skills as infants, but as adults, most people struggle to learn a second language? The most common answers that I have from people to that question is that either I have no talent for it or a variation on the theme, I'm no good at learning languages. That is an understandable response, but one that does get us 
nowhere in trying to understand why we are able to learn our first language with such ease, but mostly fall over miserably in a second. What my thoughts on the matter are, is that if you are given a screwdriver to knock in a nail, after some time of trying to hammer in the nail, of course you will conclude you have not much talent for hammering. Well, clearly, the problem here is not your talent, your skill, your determination or your intellect. The problem is the tool you are given. Learning languages is exactly the same. If you are given the wrong tools and get the wrong understandings, then you may well conclude after trying that you are not talented. Of course there are other factors at work, but this simple example gets to the heart of the problem. You might ask, why is it that some learners do succeed? Well, they do succeed and appear talented for diverse reasons. The essential one being that they have figured out what they have to do to learn a second language. If you ask them, they probably will not be able to explain what they do or why they are successful in the same way as you ask someone how they learn to cook so well. But what is clear is that they do something differently to what others do. So, what we have done is created a website that is devoted to finding out what successful language learners do and what they don't do. If people are open to finding out more about that, they can register their interest with us at www.strategiesinlanguagelearning.com and they will get access to free articles, video clips, interviews, which will give them insights, strategies and practical suggestions. If they put just one of these into place in their lives, in learning a second language, they will be on the road to transforming their language learning. Hope that's answered your question. That's all for us from now. Till next time, this is Andrew Wyler.